Anyang, we are covering more ATs today because they are my alt group. I think they're becoming my alt group. So Reddit told me that something really interesting was happening on Reddit through my Gmail. So I just had to pull up this article. And when I started reading the headline, I felt attacked because it was so true. I couldn't find anything more true on the interwebs. So let's just get into this article. Congrats to ATs for turning cyberpunk into the most I'm so sad, hip thrust, I'm so alone, body roll song yet. This is an appreciation post clearly because we're gonna need to start appreciating these men's showmanship while they're on the stage. They're really trying to deliver a really stellar show to us. And I saw them live and my mind was blown. Like I couldn't believe that I was actually seeing them in person. But back to the article. Ooh, wait, I want you to see this first. Okay, I was just playing around in my editing stuff and I just had to create that. Okay, now we're really gonna get into the Reddit article. During ATEEZ's recent shows, they unveiled choreo for a few of their new tracks from the World EP1. And while all were genuinely iconic, yes, please refer to Song while living his Star Wars fantasy during New World, which was breathtaking, Cyberpunk was really the crowd pleaser for obvious reasons that I will get into. Also, there are a lot of links in this Reddit post, so I'm gonna link those down below, and we're also gonna look at them together so we can all get wrecked as a family because that's what I believe in. And if you wanna join the family, don't forget to sub so you don't miss any of the notifications or any of the community posts that I do throughout the week. And also, I am releasing shorts now, and we have a TikTok, so follow me on TikTok. I never thought I'd ever say that in my life. Back to the article. For context, Cyberpunk is really a standout B-side from the album and a lot of people's, read mine, overall favorite. This must be a person from England or something because that's not how we spell favorite in the US of A. It takes the mantle of Synthy 80s, the weekend inspired pop from Take Me Home, and I feared it might get the same treatment in remaining unacknowledged and without a live performance for a year. What performances as far as B-sides are concerned from ATs didn't get performances, but people really wanted them. I think I saw something about that, but maybe there's something in the ATs catalog that you are rarely interested in seeing a performance from, but never got the opportunity to see it because it's a B-side. So no one cares about B-sides, I guess, but this B-side, it got the royal treatment. I'm so glad I was wrong. We all know the joke of boy groups dancing really centrally to sad and depressing lyrics. But as they do with most things, ATs took that as a challenge, I fear. It definitely couldn't have been a challenge for them. Just, it just couldn't be. Chair dancing, exposed skin, an undisclosed number of body rolls, choice on. I would just like to acknowledge that these are the lyrics. Now here are the lyrics, which are very interesting. Let's just get into this. These are San and Yuno. In the city where darkness falls, the lights are dancing, a dance of chaos. Colorful neon lights, the empty eyes which hover in them. Seriously, nothing to do with body rolls, nothing to do with hip grinding, none of that stuff is applicable to this phrasing right here in this first verse. Unfortunately, there isn't much yet in terms of HD fan cams, but that hasn't stopped anyone from losing it. Now we're gonna get into the day one and day two performances of cyberpunk but i don't think we're gonna do day two we're just gonna do day one so let's just get into this all right here we go i'm i'm excited here we go now i'm gonna mute the rest of this so just so we can have it playing in the background because why not i i mean i want to see this while it's happening now I'm okay with boy groups deciding, I love that move on Sangwa. I'm okay with boy groups deciding that it's time to be sexy while we're having like a sad moment because it almost distracts you from being sad. How can I be sad when I'm watching a very attractive man doing body rolls and being, I don't wanna say scantily clad, but, but, but Sir is giving us arms, he's giving us tummy, he's in vinyl, he looks very shiny and I like looking at that. So I'm not sad, I'm actually very happy I'm elated. I feel like life's gonna go on forever when I 
see a performance like this. And he didn't care that he wrecked the F out of all of us. He seriously didn't. The thing about Choi San is, is that he acts really shy on occasion and it's to be expected. He's an INFP, so naturally he's very introverted. But while on stage, he completely turns that off, at least while he's performing. Look, and that guy too. Those two are introverts, by the way. They're not acting like it. That's all I gotta say. So they're performing on the stage, giving us their all, even in a very apocalyptic song, which is they're creating a scene. That's exactly what they're doing. And I don't know what the scene is. Maybe a scene of destruction. Let's get back to the Reddit article because my brain literally shut off. But I think what we all need to do is just take a moment to appreciate Choi San. I never seen anybody embody the spirit of sad body rolls to this extent. His fan cam is a full experience. I've been wrecked. I was wrecked in person. I was wrecked when I was watching the initial fan cams coming out of Seoul. I shouldn't have watched them. I should have had it as a surprise when I actually went to the show, but I couldn't wait. When you go on Twitter and you have AT's notifications, things are just gonna start piling into your timeline even though you want to ignore it. It's just, it's just going to happen. Same thing with YouTube. You don't want to see the fan cams, but you watch a lot of AT's material. So YouTube's like, let me invite you to more material to, to wreck your life. And, and I said, yes, yes and thank you. It turns out that Deja Vu was just a stepping stone all along. They did this for us. For all the help me, I'm so alone, body roll, I'm so sad, hip thrust enjoyers. And one of them raised his hand. If you enjoy body rolls and hip thrusts, give this video a like. <laughs> Here's a longer thread of clips someone put together. We're gonna look at that because, you know, I I feel like a thirsty, thirsty troll right now. And not in like, not a bad troll, but like a troll that's like, okay, I need more. Anyway, I'm just glad to see my favorite song get performed, even if it left me speechless. Do I understand why Gorilla was the title track? Yes. Do I still wish it was cyberpunk? I would book a conference with KQ with a slideshow prepared in a heartbeat. Justice for Take Me Home and Cyberpunk. Ooh, Take Me Home actually was really good. I did like that. Now we're gonna see some comments that people have in reference to this person's post. I'm in tears. Cyberpunk is my favorite song at the moment and ATs are delivering my favorite K-pop genre. Second gen inspired angsty men in questionable black clothing, body rolling about how miserable they are. I like that and I'm gonna stand that. Now I'm a number 85 for them. From what I've seen, they usually do two music videos per album. Is this the first time they don't? Or am I not looking in the right places? They definitely only have one music video for the, the, the Korean EP. Now for the Japanese one, that one just came out with Paradigm, but maybe in the beginning of next year, they'll give us something. I don't know. They're, they need to keep us fed through 2023, that's for sure. Also, thank you for the clips. I'm going to wait for someone to petition an MV for this. Do we really need a music video for Cyberpunk? We had the live stages. What song do you want to see in their most recent Korean release have a music video? What music video do you want to see? I really like the song, Where Do I Go? But I don't know if they would actually do a music video for that. Maybe Sector One, I'd be interested in that, but who knows, who knows? There's a gap in the market that needs filling. That sounded so sus. And ATs are your guys. There's actually been a few times they've only had one. Wonderland, Answer, and Fireworks were all single releases. And technically say my name as well, even though it's so linked to Holla Holla. Really hoping it gets a special video or at least a performance video. Ooh, yeah, yeah. There would be a lot of close-ups and it would be more sustained attention instead of hearing people screaming like we could really focus on the artistry of the, uh, the the dancing yeah the dancing but I'm still holding out for a take me home video so we may be out of luck all right that sounds kind of depressing all right I'm gonna just keep scrolling down here to see why oh okay I actually appreciate this this is why I love appreciation posts quality writing persuasive and impressive examples with an excess of links I love when you guys give me links so if there are any links to any other AT's performances that you want me to view, drop it down below or put it in our group playlist, which I'll also drop down below so I can watch some more videos. Don't worry, I have a backlog of videos that you all have submitted to me and I cannot wait to get to them. 
and potentially a continuing storyline as more performances are revealed. Thanks for sharing. I too am very happy to appreciate San and Cyberpunk. I'd also love a preview of your justice. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Oh, the person's slideshow. Yeah, I would love to see that too. I would love to see that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I woke up a couple of hours ago after the concert and I swear half my timeline was just the San intro. <laughs> that is exactly what happened to me. And I couldn't not look. I just couldn't. He was very shiny. I, if, I felt like like he was a squirrel or something, and I just got very distracted. I was like, "Ooh, what's this?" And most of the rest of it made it look. Wait, I can't even read because my brain is like seriously thinking about him. Choi Sun, what is this behavior exactly? That's definitely not what I was picturing while listening to the song. Exactly. We are at a point in time where people would assume they're strippers. You know, a lot of comments are saying that when you go to an ATs concert, are you really going to a strip club? I feel like K-pop boy bands are really turning it out. And I'm just going to bring up one NCT 127 Johnny in their latest tour, him in a bathroom, him grinding. Let me insert a clip. See, see what I'm talking about? This is really, really, really bad for people who are taking their parents to these concerts because what's the car ride like going home? I wanna know. Have you gone to any K-pop concerts with your parents and seen questionable behavior? Let me know down below and were you thoroughly embarrassed? Like, were your parents concerned about you? I've only experienced cyberpunk through Spotify so this post is like showing a caveman technology. Body rolls? leather and vinyl this place is full of lies sad emo lyrics i am scandalized and highly intrigued also thanks for taking me home in cyberpunk mu also also justice for taking me home in cyberpunk music videos it's been a hundred years it hasn't been a hundred years but it probably does feel like that if you've been listening to them and wondering is, is a music video gonna happen for my favorite song it's not it's just not gonna happen. So let's vis visit v -v -v -v. Let's visit some links that this wonderful person had put down for us. Will we have audio? Maybe. This is just... Sorry, I took my breath away. Jeez Louise. Like how, how, how? Is this just a very long appreciation post? Yes. That's how I felt after watching it. This is so relatable. So relatable. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can. You can do that. That's totally cool. Oh, I love this scene with them together. We're winding the back. Can we just appreciate Yo Song's arms? Can we appreciate that? And also look at this vulnerability in Choi San, the neck fully exposed. I feel like I'm a vampire right now in this moment. His arms also very cut, just gorgeous. Yes. Seeing this performance makes me feel like I'm not living because it's just so, so enthralling. It's it's a lot to deal with. And then this is just a longer thread of choice on, thread of of all AT Cyberpunk stages clips, cause I, yeah, yeah, this is, and look, there's over 200,000 views of it. And as mentioned, the links are within the article itself. Oh, I love this move with Songwa. It's so, it's so captivating. And it's so, I can't even think of the words. It's so, it's replay worthy. You are definitely gonna break the replay button. And also Yo Song does like a little chair dance, which is also very hot, but we're not gonna look at that. So basically what we've learned from this article is that it's not getting blown up. I respect this article. I respect the poster. I think they're doing the Lord's work by creating all of these beautiful, beautiful excess of links. And also that just provides us evidence of Choi Song's behavior and how disrespectful he's starting to be. As far as I'm concerned, he's on notice and he doesn't care about 18 his feelings and he's constantly, constantly putting us in chokeholds and I'm okay with that. Daddy Choi, I respect you, sir. Thank you so much for joining me for k Apocalypse. Don't forget all the sweet community links are below. And uh, we're going to have more videos coming up, obviously. And I don't want you to miss anything. So make sure you sub. 
and I will talk to you later on Young.